Hello everyone and welcome to episode 20 of Let's Die Lot in Dark Souls. Last episode went pretty miserable, everything went wrong pretty much. So let's see if we can get things working now. I took a bit of a break and uh, I'm feeling much more motivated. I'm prepared to go to Zen's Fortress and kick some lizard butt. So let's let's reverse hollowing and let's run back to Sen's Fortress and let's do it right this time. No more farting around. I feel really bad about killing Sigmar or well helping him uh, meet his doom rather. I didn't really kill him technically. But, you know, what you gonna do? Ah, oh, you lucky lizard bastards. Uh, hang on, you've got something on your back. Oh, I don't know, it's like looking like a... Oh, it's a big sword sticking out. Oh, oh I'm sorry. It was my sword. Ah, uh, too bad. Run back. Up here. And here's my soul, since I managed to kill myself here last time. I don't know how I managed to do that. I, I blame the Let's Play curse. Or something like that. Or me sucking, possibly. See if you can fall down, maybe. Because I don't want to fight you up there, or... Maybe I will have to do that anyway. Oh god, I'm missing. Oh my god, never mind. To hell with it. I'm gonna run up and stab him in the face or any other body part for that matter that would work. I might even use that trap to kill him, actually. Oh, someone killed himself. That's nice. Alright, let's be careful about this. Oh, damn. You know what? I think you should follow me in here. Yeah, come on. Or maybe just fall to your death. That works too. No worries. So let's move on. And there's a guy down there that I'm going to ignore because I'm going to deal with him in a more sophisticated manner later on, and you'll see. Where's the... Uh, hmm, I thought there was supposed to be a, a lizard here. That's weird. Maybe he got depressed and killed himself or something, I don't know. I can only hope. And looking down there, there's no Sigmire down there. He is, oh my, he is complete, completely dead. And I just had to make sure and fall down to check. Uh, the targeting system. The targeting system, my god! What? Oh my god. This is not going very well. I'm gonna try to move away a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, you don't like me and I don't like you either. What? How the fuck did I not hit? Hmm, this may actually be another bad day to do this. Yeah, I know, I know. Goodbye. Alright, that went slightly better. Let's see if we can deal with the lizard mage. She's waiting for me up here. I'm going to try and backstab you, dear sir. Yes, yes, have a backstab. Did that feel better? No? So, back on track again. No more farting around. It's going slightly better, at least. And uh, let's see if we can get this up upstanding gentleman over here to come over and say hello. 
Sometimes they trigger their own traps and sometimes they don't. I haven't quite figured out why, but... No worries! I'll help you out, dear friend. Oh, balls. That was unfortunate. Yeah, come on. Come on out! Come on out and say hello to my little friend. Sayonara! And this time I'm thinking I'm gonna go. I'm gonna follow the boulders down and show you another item. A ring, actually. If you just keep running, you shouldn't be facing any more boulders. And as you can see, there's a bit of a hole where the boulders fall down. And once that hole is filled up with boulders, I don't know if there's like four or five down there, the next boulder will break that wall. And behind that wall, there's, there's a lovely ring which I want. That suits my greedy nature. But before we do that, we're now back at the Mimic, the evil chest. And I'm going to see if I can deal with him this time. Hopefully that should be no problem. They've got an unholy amount of hit points though, but yeah, he's down and he drops the lightning spear or lightning spear. Which is a pretty good weapon for this level. It does electrical damage, which apparently the lizards don't like. And perfect timing. The wall has been destroyed and I'm going to run over here and pick up the come on give it a covetous gold serpent ring and this ring will increase item drops from monsters which is pretty damn useful if you're doing some farming uh, or such and i'm gonna take the evil elevator up here and you remember last episode we came down here and i bolstered up a bit not going to do that this time. Make sure that you get out of the elevator before it goes to the top because as I said there's some lovely spikes up there. Yeah, you can see them there. Bastards. And I'm going to show you another item I think. Uh, or am I going to drop down here? No, I'm actually going to show you another item which is easily missed. Go down here, you may remember we've been here and here's a lizard mage with a nice shiny back just waiting to be stabbed but of course I fail because it's, well you know, because I suck. If you go through here and fall down here, I think there's a lizard man here which we could plunge attack, I'm thinking, no, he was too fast but he falls down and balls us up He's a bit like me, that way. Oh, you haven't fallen down yet? Alright, I'll, I'll help you out. Oh, I think he fell down now, didn't he? Oh, he managed to get down on that ledge. Yeah, you're very, very motivated, aren't you? Oh, that's better. Ah, oh, well, alright, never mind. Here's another item. I think it is a soul item anyway. And I'm gonna get it. No, it's the Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring. I've actually forgotten what that does, so let's have a quick look, shall we? Oh yeah, that makes me silent. Cool. If you fall down here, you'll uh, end up with a demon... Um, Titanite demon, you can see him down there. And I don't think there's any other way out of here, actually. So I'm thinking that I'm going to have to fall down here. Or I could also use a homeward bone. But I'm thinking that maybe I'm going to show you the way down if I can remember it. Because you can fall down here without taking too much damage anyway. It's not too bad. And down here is a demon, Titanite demon. And I hate these guys, and I'm actually going to equip the... Um, oh, the rusted iron ring. I've already got that one. That's nice. That's cool. That means I can move about in this swampy area. 
without being encumbered. Oh, I'm just going to run away from him. I don't care about him. Not now. Maybe later. Some other day. And I'm going to fast forward this so you can... You don't have to suffer through me running through all of Sen's fortress. Ah, here we are, finally back on track, and I'm going to see if I can do this. Uh, it should be possible to do without taking damage, but <laughs> we'll see. I've made it at least once without taking damage, but we'll see. I'm going to run up here from where the rock is coming, and hopefully... Ah, uh, no, I didn't make it. I have made it before, but not this time. So anyway, up here is where these boulders or rocks are coming from. And once you're up here, you can actually change the direction of them, which is kind of nice. And I'm going to change the way they fall, or roll rather, down here, because that means I'm going to smash a lizard in the face and also break open a wall. And I want to go down there and say hi to an NPC soon. I'm just going to make sure that our lizard friend gets completely squashed before I do that, he's still standing there. He's a complete idiot. He's just like, oh, what the hell is going on? Durr. One more boulder should do it. One more boulder should do it. Yeah. No? Still on that? Oh, yeah, there he went. And I'm going to change the, the direction of this one to a spot where it's more safe. Unfortunately, is this machine will reset itself once you uh, reach certain points in the map, so <laughs> it's not permanent. But I'm going to run down here, and as you may recognize, this is where we came not long ago. And this sleeping lizard was standing, leaning against the wall over here, and the wall has kind of broken. So we can go in here and talk to Logan, and I'm going to try and make sure not to kill him. Hmm, you seem quite easy. A rare thing in these times. I am Logan. I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. I have a bright idea. Suppose you set me free. I'm old and empty-handed, but I could repay you with knowledge and sorcery. This place is melting my mind. The inactivity is repressive. All right. Let's open this and free him. I'm using the master key here. Oh, heavens. Thank you. I'm saved. And I'd like to resume my travels. But I must log a few things first, and I owe you a favor. I will return to Farling Shrine. Speak with me there, so that I may impart my sorcery. Right. So he will return to Firelink Shrine where we can buy spells from him. And I've also gotten myself invaded, of course. Surprisingly few in invaders this time, but yeah, I'm going to get this stuff here and uh, just admire the view a bit. Ah, nice view. There's the undead parish. Lovely. So let's run back and see if we can find our invader. I think maybe that they spawn quite high up in Sen's Fortress, actually, most of the time. Which probably means it's going to take a bit of a time for him to get to me. Oh, yeah. As you see, the boulders get reset. Goodbye, silly lizard thing. Why is that trap reset? Hmm. That's kind of odd. Ah, right. Let's see if we can do this again. There is another way, but I'm being a bit lazy now. I'm going to try this again and see if I can get it to work this time. Run! You lazy bugger. Ah, uh, almost, almost made it. 
So let's see if we can move on. I think we've found most of the stuff down here. So let's go this way and I'm just going to run. There's a trap here. It's not going to hurt you if you just run. And I'm thinking we should be running into our invading friends anytime soon. Oh, I wonder where he is at. Probably topside. Somewhere. Oh well. This is pretty much just run through. Time it right. And just run like there's no tomorrow, hopefully. What? Oh my god, I'm doomed. Yeah, I kind of knew it, but what the hell. Right, here we are again, back at the Bridge of Doom. That was kind of expected, that. But for once I was hoping to actually get an honourable invading phantom. But no, apparently not. So I'm going to go back and get my souls and... Um, I also managed to screw things up a bit here. I actually forgot to save my commentary audio file, so this is actually post-commentary. Sorry about that, but it's just the end of this episode. Next episode will be back to live commentary. So anyway, here I am, fighting the uh, lizard. Well, maybe it's not, a, it's not really a lizard, is it? It's more of a snake or whatever. Anyway, I hate these guys. And... Um, I walk over here to show you that there's a hole here which you can actually fall down and you get down to that area where you find the um, uh, what's the ring called I think I'm looking for it here actually the uh, let me see the slumbering dragon crest ring the area where we got that you're actually gonna fall down there and you can actually survive that fall it's not that far just make sure you're at full health So I'm continuing my killing spree here and uh, go back down here because there's, I think, is a Titanite chunk or something over here and of course another serpent, lizard or whatever the hell it is. And some backstabbing will deal with that guy and uh, here's the loot. Large Titanite shard, right, yeah, they can always be useful. So here I am running back 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 and up the stairs time to deal with a fairly annoyingly placed lizard or serpent mage best way to deal with this guy is to not to bring out the uh, gesture or <laughs> gesture menu but instead to shoot him in the face with arrows and of course being dark souls I kill the wall here instead a couple of times before I finally realized that I can actually target this guy. I don't have to use first person mode here. Well, it's not first person, is it? But you can actually just lock onto him with the targeting system and fire at him, which is a lot easier than what I'm doing right here. I don't know. I'm probably confused. And I think I actually realized that now. Yes, I do. And <laughs> finally <laughs> start to deal damage the way it's supposed to. And take some damage as well. I'm being a bit cautious here. And down he goes and soon enough so will I. I very carefully navigate this horrible bridge and take stupid damage and survive and get pushed down and land on top of the demon or the Titanite demon and uh, yeah that's the end of the episode right there. Thank you for watching and see you next time.